Hello, my name is Lauren Bregitzer, an Ableton Certified Trainer and Associate Professor at the University of Colorado, Denver. And I'm going to demonstrate how to manually create a drum beat and program a drum beat in Ableton Live 10. Now, the first thing that I want to do is pick a drum kit that I want to use for my drum beat. I can always change it up later, but let's pick one to start with. I'm going to go to my packs under places, then select uh, any number of these have drum kits in them. Not all of them do, but a lot of them will. I'm going to select this punch and tilt one. Uh, and in the folders inside there, you can see drums. And I'm just going to go through and pick a drum kit here. All right, I'm going to go with that one. So to use this drum kit, I'm just going to drag it onto a MIDI track. So I'm going to drag it into this first track here. Now I can see the drum kit here. I can see all the instruments. I can you know demo them from here. But to manually program them in, I need to have a clip to put them into. And that's very easy to do. So all I need to do is double click on an empty clip slot on this track that I have the drum kit dragged into, double click on it, and it will create an empty one bar clip. Now if I want a two bar drum loop, all I need to do is go to this note section of it, of the clip view, and adjust the length from one bar to two bars. And you can see expand from one bar to two bars. From here, I'm going to drag up so I can see all the drums in there. If I don't see them all, I can expand that this way, expand it uh, vertically. And now I can see all of the different drum sounds that are in that kit. So if I want to check out which sounds what, I can click on the preview button. And now anytime I select one of the MIDI notes that it's attached to, I can preview that. Also with that preview button, anytime I add a note manually, it will preview that when I'm, when I'm entering it in. So to enter that in manually, all I need to do is to turn on the pencil tool and it changes my cursor to a pencil. So I can go up here to the upper right and turn the pencil tool on here or off. But the easiest thing is to use a keyboard shortcut. And the, the shortcut to do that is the B key. So if I press the B key on my keyboard, it changes to a pencil. So it'll toggle that pencil tool on and off. So now with my pencil tool selected, I can add beats in here just by clicking on them. I can delete them just by clicking on them again a second time, then I'll delete the MIDI note that's creating that kick drum. Now, the question is, what kind of resolution am I looking at? I can see here that this is two bars, and each beat is divided up into fourths. So I can assume that each little uh, vertical line is a 16th note. If I want to change that resolution, I can right click and select eighth, quarter, up to 32nd notes, or even off if I want to manually draw them in. But I'm going to keep them at 16th notes for the time being. Uh, if I switch them to quarter notes, you'll see those vertical lines disappear, and all I can do are quarter notes. So let's go back to 16th notes and start adding them in. You may find it's helpful to run the drum beat as you're programming it. So to do that, I'm just going to launch that clip here. I'm just going to click the play button and launch that clip so I can see the timeline moving across. And now as I add beats, it'll play back. I can audition different sounds and add those. Now, if I want to add that across the whole song, I can just click on it and just drag across. And it will add those in the resolution that the song is in. So now I'm going to further build up my beat as it's playing along.
So that's how easy it is to program a drum beat manually in Ableton Live. In my next video, I'm going to demonstrate further things you can do manually programming in drums, some more advanced functions that you can do.